Hello my bunnies, it's Tiki Strinkets here, and today I have for y'all a Krita slash drawing tutorial kind of video. It's just a very quick little video, but it's something that I was trying to figure out how to do on Krita, Krita <laughs> and it was extremely hard to figure out how to do it. Luckily, I found a Reddit forum and two people were talking back and forth, just two, that's it, on how to do this. So I figured, why not make a quick little video of this? That way I can help other people when they search it up on YouTube. Sorry, my ears are trying to travel away from me. There we go. So I figured, why not make another quick little video to help other people whenever they go on YouTube and search the same thing I was searching. I found other videos on YouTube that were similar, but they weren't quite doing what I needed to. All I needed to know was how to make a line that's already drawn thinner. Instead of having to redraw the entire element or the re entire layer, I did have to go layer by layer for each element that was drawn, like the hand, the forearm, the bicep or whatever but that's fine a layer by layer is a whole lot better than having to redraw the entire piece but I had drawn Irma weeks before I drew the rest of the characters that you saw in the thumbnail and I used 6.03 on the pixel size for the actual brush strokes but then with Claire and Asmodeus I decided 5 looked a lot better so I did them in 5.03 so that's the same point decimal but it wasn't the same base decimal so that because of that, I needed to make it thinner. So I looked and looked and looked and finally found my answer. I found two people talking about it, like I said, and I combined their two ways to make this way. Sorry in advance for when I tell you to click the docker and then on the drop down menu, click this, this, and this. It doesn't show up when I record it through window recording, but just listen to exactly what I say in the video and, I will t and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. And if you don't understand, comment down below and I will tell you step by step in writing do this 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 and trust me it will make your life so much better and so much easier because it was such a lifesaver for me I really did not want to have to redraw all of Irma I'm so ready for this drawing to be done with so that I can have a sticker and pens and whatever else I want of this prints god forbid everything I just want everything done <laughs> but I know I haven't been posting a lot lately ears are traveling again <laughs> but I've just been busy I got a haircut if you can't tell they cut a little too much I told them here and it's up here but whatever it's fine hair grows back I'm also working on trying to re-dye my hair but I'll get along I'll get around to that later also my Etsy shop update was updated not that long ago with the poker series critters and the huggy wuggy necklaces I'm still working on new stuff for the next update. I haven't quite decided what that's going to be yet, besides the Irma sticker slash pins and keychains. But I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a working process. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, and I hope it helps you out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in next time video, which I don't know when it'll be, but you'll see when I know too. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye, my bunnies. Hello my bunnies, I just wanted to do a quick little tutorial for something that was frustrating me and it might also be frustrating you. If you use Krita and you have already drawn a design, like let's say this, and I'm just focusing on just Irma in this drawing. I'm drawing Welcome to Demon School Irma Kun, the main three characters. When I initially drew it, I drew Irma at 6.03 pixel size for the line of the brush. But when I drew Asmodeus and Clara, I actually drew them as 5.03 because it looked nicer. So what I need to do is I need to lower the line, pardon me, I need to lower the size of the lines on Irma to match better with Asmodeus and Clara. As you can see, I've already done that with his hair top. That part's significantly thinner than everything else. I found this little helpful thing on Reddit, and I just took what they said and modified it to my best way to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same process again so you can see it using the bottom of his hair. As you can see, I'm removing it and adding it back. I'm not going to remove a pixel, an entire pixel in the line because it's just too much, so I'm just going to remove 0.3. So what you're going to do is select select opaque and then click select opaque 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 replace geez I can't talk as you can see now it's highlighted and there's a selection mask layer okay now we're gonna go back to select we're gonna click shrink selection and then by whatever size of pixel you wanna do it or by any of these other things which that might actually be better but we're gonna stick to pixels because that's what I've been doing 
you're going to leave shrink from image border and I'm going to put 0.3 because that's what I did with the um, the bangs on the head okay so now you see that border got smaller around the highlighted image of the hair now back to select for the last time we're going to click invert selection that way it's not erasing the inside of the dotted lines it's going to erase the outside so all you got to do now is select whatever brush you're using the eraser tool and then just go through and make this nice and big I'm going to zoom out so you can see it actually I'm going to zoom in and then just erase and as you can kind of see it's erasing some of the thickness of the outer part of the lines it might be a little bit jagged but it is okay you can go through and clean those lines up afterwards all right let me hit out okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna click the magic wand tool and just click deselect and there we go now we have a much thinner line than it was before just to give you an idea again it is kind of bumpy but it's okay it's better than having to re redraw everything all the way over so just to give you an idea of how thick it was before let me undo it that's how thick it was before now go back through and that's how thin it is now that's just the easiest way I've found so far you can either redraw the entire thing or do that at just to make the line center. I hope this helps you guys out like it's helped me out and I will see you all in next week's video. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and it helps you. Love you guys so so much. Goodbye bye bunnies.